hello everyone in this video we will see how to work with the lists in python so we will be exploring one of the most used data types in python that is lists whether you want to store the names numbers or even the mixed data types lists are your go to let's break it down so basically what is a list so let's move to our vs code and i will explain you there I'm on my VS Code. Let's make a file by the name list.py over here. And in this file, I will explain you what is a list basically. Uh, basically, a list is a collection of items. It is basically a collection of items that are ordered, that are ordered and changeable, or you can say modifiable, because in the, the we can modify the elements of the list uh, according to our need and lists are defined using the square brackets lists are defined using the square brackets you will see often this kind of notation in the list so i will explain you with the example by creating a list let's say i am creating a list of fruits so i will make a variable by the name fruits and this variable i will make a list lists are declared by uh, square brackets and I will include some elements like apple over here and mango over here and banana over here and next one is let's say orange over here so I have declared it as a list now if I want to check that fruits variable what kind of data type is fruits so I will just print the type of fruits you are well aware about the print function it's a built-in it's a built-in function in python which will return the data type of the variable given to the type function like it's end float dictionary list tuple what is the data type of the variable let's run it i will just run it with my terminal i will just write over here python list.py list.py it will return me as class list means the fruits variable is storing it as a list so good to go now i will explain you with the another example and there are few operations in our list like to add more elements in the list to delete the elements in the list or to access the element inside the list basically we access the element inside the list using indexes using indexes there are some sort of index over there in the python if like index work in the way that if i am allotting the first element like apple as the zeroth index okay and mango will be given the first index and banana will be given the second index and so basically and so on like 0 1 2 and 3 this is known as the forward indexing we access the elements of a list by forward indexing like if i want to see what is in the first position of the fruits list so i will just write print fruits i want to access the first element so i will write one over here no you will not write one over here you have to write zero over here because you are giving the index and the first element of the fruits list is the zeroth index so i if i just run over it it will return me the apple you can see over here it returned me the apple so this is uh, how we can access the elements of a list we can access the elements of a list using the index and this is quite basic if i want to access the third element of the list so i will just write two over here and if i run it again it will return me banana like you can see first second and third element is banana over here what if if i write if i want to access the fourth element i'll just write three over here and i will just run it again and it will give me orange what if i want to access the element which is not in the list i will just write four over here and you can see the fifth element is not in our list let's see what it will return to us it will return that it's an index error means the list is list index is out of range 
there is no such element at fifth position over here or you can say at fourth index over here so it will raise the index error okay fine now we are done with accessing the elements now we will see how to modify the elements in a list like if I want to change apple element uh, to berry what I will do uh, I will just write fruits because lists, lists are changeable and I have mentioned in uh, I have mentioned earlier that lists are modifiable and we can modify the elements of the list so how we will do it we will do it using the index only so apple is at 0th index I will just write 0 over here and I will modify it with berry ok now if I just print my fruits list again let's see what it will return to us you can see apple has been replaced by berry so I have replaced apple by berry you can do similar it with mango banana and orange etc so this is how you can modify the list you can in some uh, if I summarize this you can modify the list and access the list by using the index so index play a vital role while accessing and performing operations on a list or any other data type so let's move ahead and if I if I just uh, tell you that how to add the elements in a list like if I have currently four elements in a list okay okay so I will tell you about the len function over here len function basically what is what do len function do len function is used to tell the length of the list and if I enter len fruits over here and if I just print it because we want to see the data so if I just enter it it will return me 4 because there are 4 elements in the list so length function is used to print the length of the list moving ahead uh, I, I will tell you that how to add adding elements in a list how to add elements in a list let's see I have this list and I want to add one extra element like let's say I want to add berry in this list I want to add berry not I want to replace I want to add now how I will do it there are two methods there are two functions basically first one is append function and second one is insert function let's see one by one so the syntax of append function is foods dot append and here I will enter my element let's say I want to enter berry it will append berry at last of this list and if I just print if I just print fruits again let's say what it will what it is going to return if I run this you can see berry is added over here so basically append by the word you can see that append means to add something at the end of the list so this is what append is doing and the second method is insert insert the syntax of insert is not the same basically insert function uses the index and it is very specific and is I guess a good function because insert because append always append the elements at last of this position but insert with will and will add the element in the list at a specific position you will specify it like if I want to add it at first index or at, as a second element I will just write 1 because it's the index it will take the index as an argument and second one is an element like if I want to add berry over here and I am printing the fruits list again if I just on over here you can see berry is at the second place or you can see it as the first index so this is how adding elements works on list and now I will move ahead to tell you the how to remove the elements now I have added the element over here I will tell you how to remove the elements from the from the list remove the elements from the list so basically there are three types of methods which we can use to remove the elements from the list okay there are two methods used to add elements in the list append and insert there are two different syntax for those two methods and to delete the element there are three methods first one is remove second one is pop third one is fruit del what these three methods will do I will tell you one by one 
firstly we will start with remove function basically remove function is used to remove the element by its value I'll just specify the value and it will delete it like if I just do print dot remove and if I write banana over here it will just remove the banana and if I just print fruits again and if I am running the file you can see banana has been removed from the list okay banana has been removed from the list this is how remove function works remove function basically remove the element by its value and what do the pop function do if I just like pop over here and I don't specify the element inside it pop by default deletes the last element of the list like if I have this list then what will it pop what will it delete it will delete orange from the list so let's see by running that you can see orange has been removed from the list and what if I specify what if I want to just pop a single element like I want to pop mango over here rather than orange so I will just write index of mango like first index over here and it will just pop the first element second element it just popped the mango so by default pop function deletes the last element and if I specify the index then it will delete that specific element the third method is delete delete so basically deletes removes the items by the index remove the item by the index like if I want to delete the specific element like first index second index third index or zeroth index if I want to uh, remove mango so it's the first index I will just write one over here and if I run the list again then you can see that mango has been removed from our list so this is the operations in the list box so if I summarize it we have studied in this lecture what actually are the list list are basically like the collection of the items that are ordered and changeable there are various operations in the list but I have discussed few of them the main ones like accessing the list modifying the list element delete an element from the list there are three methods to delete remove pop and del and they how to add element in the list there are two methods append and insert you can see further methods like extend function I will tell you in the later videos otherwise it will be a lengthy video there are many operations we can perform on list like slicing the list like traversing the list like accessing through each element we can use for loop over there we can use while loop over there and we can use loops to access each element from the list so the basically the lists are very powerful and now you know how to use them so that's it for this video and i hope you learn many things from this video thank you for listening patiently to this video thank you so much guys bye bye